Japanese anime. Anyone who's been in the medium for a while has at least watched one of them, be it about martial arts in its various styles, or about boys playing with their balls, or even about girls knocking each other off using their butts. Epic. Sports anime has become among the most popular genre out there, and getting into it feels like being a 10 years old kid who just discovered a new Flash Games website. All the games are just reskins of the same game, but who cares? They are fun. Well, same thing with sports anime. They keep using the same tropes and cliches, and it somehow works. There's always a main character who have one ability that he's really good at, the third year seniors are always acting like it's their last year alive, and the main character will never, ever win the spring tournament. It's absolutely blue minding how they keep making us watch the same story pattern, but every now and then comes a show that uses the same tropes and themes but does everything in a unique and perfect way. Those shows is what you would call a classic. And on top of all those sports anime classics stand one title. Attack on Titan! Attack on Titan is an exhilarating and emotional sports comedy that follows two determined brothers who wants to become the best baseball players in <laughs> Okay, on a serious note. Haikyuu. <laughs> Haikyuu's story follows this orange head kid named Hinata, also known as Damas, Rant, Dolt, Scrub, Moron. Hinata is short, but ever since having witnessed the little giant in his astonishing skills in volleyball, he has been captivated by the dynamic nature of the sport. In his volleyball journey, Hinata meets his rival Kagiyama. After joining the Karasuno team, the two of them work together to fulfill their desire of leaving a mark on the realm of volleyball. The first time I stumbled upon Haikyuu is when I was just scrolling through the top rated anime on my anime list, and I remember reading the synopsis and being like, Huh. An anime about a bunch of high schoolers who play volleyball? That sounds like a show that I don't give a shit about. And the setter, they orchestrate the offense of the team. They must be highly skilled in their accuracy, in perfect sync with the hitters. The bond between players is so strong, it is poetry in motion. Seriously, I think that Haikyuu is one of the most inspiring anime out there. That number one, of course, no, no, that's for Gintama the most inspiring anime to ever exist. But Haikyuu is actually a really inspiring and motivational show that won't just give you the JUST DO IT kind of motivation. The characters are not perfect beings, they all have their own problems to deal with and learn to overcome. And it's an absolute joy to see these imperfect characters learn, try, and eventually succeed in their own world. In this time and age, saying that you like Haikyuu is just like saying that you like to eat delicious food. Haikyuu is the best sports anime ever. Is what I like to say, but recently I watched a trailer of a show that's gonna be airing this year. Its name is Blue Lock. And I got curious and I decided to read a few chapters of the manga. It's the coolest fucking manga I've ever read in my entire life. Just look at this, it's so sick! It's about football, best sport in the world, and most importantly, it doesn't take place in a fucking high school. The level of hype is just staggering. Every single chapter that I read, I'm like, wow, that even looks better than the last one. How can they top that? Never mind, they just topped it after five pages. And above everything, is just so fucking cool. It's just so sick. How did they make it so sick? But it still have one problem. It still have one single problem. And that is that it's so fucking sick! The story of Blue Luck begins with a real historical event, which is Japan's elimination from the 2080 FIFA World Cup. This prompts the Japanese Football Union to start a program scouting high school players who will begin training in preparation for the 2022 Cup. And to do that, they hire the soccer enigma, Ego Jinpachi. His master plan to lead Japan to stardom is Blue Luck, a training system designed to create the world's greatest egotist striker. Those who fail Blue Luck will never again be permitted to represent Japan, and the last remaining person will become the world's best striker. And that's when this high school student, Yuichi Isagi, decides to join the program. Something that really stood up to me when I was reading Blue Luck is the huge number of unique abilities that the characters have. This really helped simplify the games and made them easy to follow, because the matches in Blue Luck are like a chess game where every piece has a special move it can make. However, there are some abilities that you might find familiar. We have the guy who can copy any technique, the one who calculates every move, the guy who is really fast, and a guy whose only concern is coming on people. For many years, sports, anime and manga have become synonymous with fine girls along with Yaoi, and the reason is simple. 99% of the characters are males. And Blue Luck literally says it in the title. So ladies, if you are looking for your next husband of the year 2022, fear no more, because you are in the right place. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fact that Blue Lock actually rivals Haikyuu, but is it better than Haikyuu? To make this comparison fair, we are going to be judging them only by the manga, since the anime didn't start airing yet. We check my animalist score, and as you can clearly see, Haikyuu has the advantage. So as a conclusion, Haikyuu is better than Blue Lock. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and see you in the next- <sighs> I guess that will do it. It's too late, I should probably get go. What's that? Do you think Blue Lock can surpass Haikyuu?
No, it fucking can't. Look, look at the graph. The number of sales of blue luck the magazine. The second blue luck becomes an enemy. It will wipe high Are you for real, guys? Okay, Stop even watch comparing them. High Q is on a different level. level. Well, <laughs> there's a war going on in there. <laughs> you know what would be funny? If we join them. <laughs> that would be hilarious, but I'm not gonna be. This is the idea. First, we define every criteria that allow us to write objectively any sports manga. Then, we set for each criteria a coefficient dependent on its importance. For example, matches have a coefficient of 0.5 and one for material have a coefficient of 0.69. Because why foes are more important than matches. Then, a score... <laughs> Okay, should probably change this. Then a score from 1 to 10 will be given to both high Q and blue luck for each criteria. Multiply it by the coefficient and add it to the other scores and the one with the highest score wins. But before you know of that, I know what you may be thinking now. Aru, you can't just measure art. Everyone will have a different opinion. Shh, shh. Do you hear that? That's the sound of you shutting the fuck up. I want to remind you that this is going to be a manga versus manga, so I will not include any animation or music or voice acting in the criteria. Story and plot. Haikyuu has a really interesting and compelling story, but on the other hand, Blue Luck came up with something really new and original, which is mixing sport with a battle royale theme. So Blue Luck is a tiny bit above Haikyuu when it comes to the story. 10 to 9. Characters. Characters in Haikyuu are so relatable, and they have more complexity to their personalities that makes them more realistic and genuine. In Blue Luck, they just kind of have one or two traits, and that's due to the lack of situations where you can see the reaction of each character, and that's when the slice of life in Haikyuu come in handy. In Blue Luck, it's just game after game with some short backstories. So Haikyuu a 10, in Blue Luck a 6. Art style. This is my favorite manga panel from Haikyuu. And this is my favorite manga panel from Blue Luck. If I can frame this panel and put it next to the Mona Lisa, it will be on a display in a museum. Haikyuu definitely has amazing and unique art, but compared to Blue Luck, 10 for Blue Luck and 6 for Haikyuu. Philosophy and concepts. Haikyuu is about teamwork, friendship, and what pushing beyond your limits looks like. Theme that can be applied to life as well. Also, the fundamental message of Haikyuu was not to become the best or to win, but to keep playing because it's fun. Blue Luck's concept, on the other hand, is that football isn't centered around the team, but rather the individuals involved, and specifically the strikers. And this leads its philosophy of an egotistical striker. And since it's a battle of philosophies, I think they both deserve that 10, since they are both realistic and have some kind of foundations, and not just bullshit like some other shows. Dialogue. I know this is gonna be a little bit harsh on Blue Luck, but this is a comparative list. And compared to Haikyuu, the dialogue in Blue Luck is just bad and cheesy and cringy. Whenever they start talking about devouring each other or about some edgy shit, it just takes off from the immersion in the story. So compared to Haikyuu, Blue Luck is a 3. Character design. They both have amazing character designs, especially the hairstyles. The 2 deserves a 10. Pacing. As I said before, Blue Luck is just match after match. They don't waste your time because they know what you are here for. The hype and they give you just that. So it's fair to say that Blue Luck have a faster pace compared to Haiku. Of course, a fast pace doesn't mean it's a good pace, but in Blue Luck, it definitely is. 10 to 7. Setting. This one is hard. Hmm, let me see. The Blue Luck facility versus a high school. 10 to 3. Emotions. This one's easy. 10 to 3. But the 10 is for Haiku this time. Haiku will make you feel emotions that you never knew you can feel. In Blue Luck, sucks at this. Intelligence. In Haikyuu, a lot of the good plays are justified by just how hard the player has trained, but in Blue Luck, all the good plays are made because of good tactics and strategies. 10 to 7. Visual metaphors. In Haikyuu, visual metaphors are simple and to the point, like using the crow imagery when someone jumps or the wall when the defense is so tight, but in Blue Luck, they give a different over the top visual cue for every bloody move for every bloody person, which only makes it natural for Blue Luck to have a 10 and Haikyuu a 4. Waifu material. Suspense. Both will keep you on the edge of your seat. But Haikyuu has more tension and will always make your heart race as you desperately binge watch it wondering what's gonna happen next. 10 to 9. Generic and cliches. I already mentioned the cliches in sports anime and manga, and Blue Luck has so little of them, so 10 for Blue Luck and 7 for Haikyuu. Matches The matches in Blue Luck relies less on friendship and teamwork, and more on the individual development of the character attributes. This leads to a more of a unique structure of the matches than other sports manga. But still, Haikyuu somehow managed to make the matches more interesting and immersive, so 10 to 9. Abilities The abilities in Blue Luck are called weapons, and they are cool as fuck. 10 to 7. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, which one has the higher final score? 
城太郎ディオほう向かってくるのか逃げずにこのディオに近づいてくるのかそう、ボーイズ、can we get a minute of silence for h a i k u please? See ya!